news from the region and from around the state. It's Florida Focus. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Lisa Nori. And I'm Michaela Kanzler. You're watching Florida Focus. Topping our newscast today, a hero takes a spotlight in our nation's capital. Sean McCarthy joins us with more. United States Marine and Afghan war hero Dakota Meyer received the nation's highest military honor from President Obama just hours ago in a White House ceremony. Meyer was awarded the Medal of Honor for charging through heavy gunfire on five death-defying trips in a Humvee, saving 13 Marines and 23 Afghan troops. Meyer killed at least eight insurgents despite a shrapnel wound. Just after midnight, a home in Brandon caught fire, killing two-year-old twin boys. While the homeowners were asleep, the twins' mother came in and put the kids to bed in a back bedroom of a home owned by her aunt. Officials are investigating the cause of the fire. The homeowners were able to escape the blaze. The boys were taken to the hospital where they were pronounced dead. Casey Anthony has kept a low profile lately. However, the same cannot be said for her parents. Sabre Stillwell joins us in the newsroom for more. George and Cindy Anthony sat down with Dr. Phil McGraw. During the interview, George said he's furious Casey's defense attorney accused him of molesting Casey when she was young. George also said Casey is not welcome in his home and he would turn her away if she tried to visit. Cindy states she's not convinced Casey's history of seizures had anything to do with Kaylee's disappearance and hopes she can move on and become a mom again. Two Clearwater residents sit behind bars after the fatal stabbing of another man. Anthony Floyd went to help a neighbor get rid of some unwanted guests when a fight broke out. Floyd was stabbed in the chest and later died at Bayfront Medical Center. Michael Gaddis and Lisa Menstradardi now remain in custody. Gaddis is charged with first-degree murder and Menstradardi is now facing accessory charges. Investigators believe a drug activity sparked the initial fight. Today marks the grand opening of the Bing Rooming House Restoration Project. In the early 1900s, the Bing Rooming House was used to accommodate travelers during Jim Crow segregation. However, today the Bing Rooming House will open its doors once more as a historic museum for African American history. Plant City plans to celebrate the restoration for the next three days. A Largo man's run for the border wound up costing him a night in jail. 50-year-old Terry Kimball of Largo walked up to the drive-thru of his local Taco Bell and attempted to place an order, but was refused service for not being in a vehicle. He called 911 and asked the police to help. Instead, Kimball was arrested for misusing the 911 system. That's all for Florida Focus. Thanks for joining us, and join us back here tomorrow.